Hello and welcome back to the channel. Uh, we're finally getting back to working on the Nova project again. Uh, I know it's been a long time and I apologize. Uh, we've been working on our house, trying to get it remodeled. We pretty well got done with that. So now I'm gonna get back on the car. I got parts ordered, or got the parts in. Uh, to reinstall the subframe and rebuild the suspension and put brand new brakes on it and hopefully by the end of this episode we'll have all that done so hang on hang on and follow along all right as you can see here i have the uh, subframe back under the car this is the first time in a long time that these two have been this close together uh, i've got the two front bolts here and over there in that pocket uh, I got the bolts in the front I don't have the ones in the back yet I'm just setting it up here I got it the front end of the thing is actually sitting on a furniture dolly just resting on it trying to hold it up straight while I got the jacks under the back uh, I chose uh, energy suspension polyurethane body mount bushings um, for the reason that i don't want it to i don't want it to flex and shift and from the frame to the body um, i did go ahead and stick with rubber bushings in the control arms uh, because i, I kind of want those to move a little bit you know and not have a bunch of road noise coming through the chassis but at the same time, I still wanted to have the car stiff. So that's what I did on that. Uh, when, I, when we come back, I'll have the two back bolts in. We'll probably have this squared up and straight and have the subframe actually supporting the car again. All right, now I've got it all squared up, got all four bolts in, mounted up tight. Uh, and I've got the jack holding up the front end of the car now again got the other jack moved out from underneath so next thing we're going to do is start putting the uh, control arms on it try to get the suspension put back together all right here's a lesson something you don't see very often I got my control arms my lower arms on only to realize that I've got them on the wrong side this is the driver's side and I've got it mounted to the passenger side. I've already had this one bolted in, tightened up, and everything else. Well, not tightened fully, but and didn't even pay any attention. So some days you just have this kind of stuff happen. So now I got to take this part, switch them around. All right. Now we got the lower control arms on the right direction. They line up with the uh, spring pack or spring pocket here and there. Now all I gotta do is put the upper control arms on. So we'll come back with that one in a little, little bit. All right, as you can see now, I got the two upper control arms in place. So pretty much the next thing to do is try to get the uh, spindles and uh, the front these uh, coil springs in place and I'll probably have to stick the motor in to do it if I don't have to I won't uh, but more than likely I don't have enough weight anywhere else or any other way I think to be able to compress the coil springs up to uh, hook up the ball joints so I, I got a feeling I'm gonna have to stick that motor and transmission back in this thing just to uh, try to get these springs put in but that's coming up next all right as you can see i ended up having to put the motor in uh basically i just dropped it on the frame it's not bolted in or anything uh, i got the back of it held up with a jack uh, but as you can see i got the coil springs in got the new spindles uh, bolted in, bolted in on uh, both sides
and it's getting late today starting to get dark again uh, a little bit cold but uh, tomorrow I'll come out here and I'll finish putting uh, the shocks in start on the steering um, and whatever else uh, maybe install the brakes I've got a, a whole kit brakes of 11 inch rotors a new power booster new master cylinder the whole nine yards so maybe i'll get that put in tomorrow and uh, you guys get to see that so i'll be back for that then all right we're back i've got uh the backing plate and the caliper mount on the spindle i have the steering box mounted the cross link uh a new uh, idler arm and brand new tie rods so now the next thing I'm gonna do is pack the bearings and the rotors and then we're gonna mount the rotors on and we'll come back at that point all right I got the bearings packed in and uh, getting ready to put the rotor on uh, just wanted to show you that I've got these done. Um, that's the rear bearing and seal. So this is ready to be put on the car now. So we'll go over there and put it on. All right, as you can see here, I got the uh, rotors on it. That's the passenger side, of course. And there's the driver's side. Okay, that pretty much completes it for right now. We'll come back shortly. All right, well that concludes this video. I know I haven't put on the uh, the calipers and I haven't mounted the master cylinder and, bre and the booster yet. What I wanna do is I'm gonna wait on that until after I get the rear end done uh, and decide what we're gonna do with the brakes. And that way I can, I can bleed the whole system all at one time instead of trying to bleed the fronts now and it's setting for six months more or whatever and then uh, coming back and then having to work, work uh, bleed the back brakes and worry about that. I'm just going to bleed the whole thing all at once so I'll wait till I get the rear done and then I'll put the master cylinder and booster on, put all the lines, put the calipers on and everything, put all the lines in and then bleed it one all at one time. Uh, also, I got to come back and do some work on the motor uh, before I drop it back in again. Uh, I still got all the electrical stuff that I took off the fly uh, the firewall. Uh, I got to put all that back into place. Um, I think the next video will probably start working on the body a little bit, trying to get some of the panels straightened up, as well as another you know then from there i might just work in the rear suspension and axle and stuff like that so if you like the video hit the like button subscribe if you haven't already and i want to say thank you to all my new subscribers thank you guys very much this is awesome i never thought that i'd have as many subscribers as i already have uh, tell your buddies tell your wife i don't care tell somebody come and watch my channel and we're going to be uh, putting out videos a lot more often now. Sorry about the long wait while we were working on the house. But I hope you liked the video. And come back and join us the next time. Thanks.